I'm cultivating mass. Well, stop cultivating and start harvesting. <laughs> D, you, D, you gangly, uncoordinated bitch is probably one of my favorite Dennis insults. <laughs> I hope they rape you for a hundred years. D really did take a lot of abuse from Dennis. Which yeah, is then continues to. Uh. <laughs> Fatty Magoo. It's one. It's one. It's one of TV's most. It's one of TV's most well-written characters by far. It's like you remember we had a crush. We had a crush on D, and we told, we told him we'd set him up if he. Oh Christ! If he had a dog, if he had a dog turd, and then she wouldn't kill him. He had his breath smell like shit. Yeah, this nigga ate a dog turd to kiss a girl. That's just backwards, dude. And then he went to the school reunion and started ganking folks. <laughs> so, slathered in ringworm. Yeah, the the freaking reveal to the ringworm is just his character just completely changes. No, oh, okay, I, I did that, and I walked into that. Okay, what am I missing here? What? I hit the glasses. Now I got the eyelid smudge. Ugh, that's the worst. Uh, it is the worst. Oh, my scalp is killing me. Beauty is pain for my friends. Why? Because beauty is so easy for you, you don't feel the pain? Is that what you're trying to say? 
That, are you trying to say that's who you are as a person? That's how I that that's how I interpreted the statement. Thank you very much. Yeah, you. That's how you take it. You can have it. Tell me I'm wrong. You can have it. You got it. You want it. Good. You want it. Wish it. Do it. <laughs> Last hundred pages of play. That's just a waste of paper. It really is. But Brian by far is one of the worst characters on all of television. No questions asked. I hate Brian Griffin. Like, I hate him as a character. Like, he's... The problem is, he isn't hyperbole enough to, like, be not real. You know what I mean? Like, he's almost realistic. Like, he's just right, right on this side of being a little too realistic to be funny. Because there are people like him, and they are sincere with their idiocy. Oh, speaking of, I heard the new Dr. Hibbert. Yeah. I'm sure he's been dying like it. Yeah, it's from, yeah, he, he started last season. It's Kevin Michael oh, Richardson. Yeah, it's it's Kevin Michael Richardson. One. And it sounds, he he's... Even, he didn't even try to do the last. No, but they, get, they recast Clifford. And by Clifford, I mean Cleveland. Uh... They recast uh, Cleveland. Who's that? From, from Family Guy? No, I'm... <laughs> I mean, who? I don't fucking know. Some jack off. Uh, but the dude... Because uh, like they said that that was the new uh, voice actor in the season premiere. And if that's him, this dude is doing a spot-on Cleveland impersonation. Like, it is really? spot the fuck okay. on. But, yeah, uh, Kevin Michael Richardson is Dr. Hibbert. They could have just wrote Dr. Hibbert out of the show. But they couldn't because, you know, you'd be getting rid of a black character, and that's almost as bad as having a white person play the character. I didn't. Or just writing a poo off the show. About all of this. They said they want to bring a poo back. But they'll probably have him played by Aziz Ansari or some other Indian fucker. I don't know. Aziz got canceled. Here, Dante. Aziz got canceled? Why he get canceled? Took it off a security guard. Yeah, you actually. Like a taser in Man, I don't yeah, like Aziz Ansari. Demon weapon in limbo. Yeah, me too. Thanks. Oh, he touched the well. He's Indian, so that makes sense. He's Indian. He's from South Carolina. He's uh, mm, Kabuli. As American as you can get. Um, basically, this girl came out and said that Find she had sex with him and she didn't want to, and he was like, uh, we were on a date, and you went back to my house, and at no point did you tell me to stop. You could have just said it was a bad date. How long? <laughs> Instead of how long, how long, how long. accusing me of raping you. I'm just going to say this straight up. She said I had sex with him, but I didn't want to. That isn't rape. Yeah, no, yeah, no. It stop people from, from trying to cancel us. I had sex with him, but I didn't want to. Yeah. Like, I'm, I would honestly... <laughs> there are men out there who are like, yeah, I've had sex several times. I can almost guarantee you nothing, they never wanted to. They were willing to, but they didn't want to. I'm not even saying that but it got again, better. It did not stop people from trying to cancel I think that I think the problem was he wasn't that funny. He wasn't funny enough to save. And I, me not liking Aziz Ansari doesn't mean that he isn't a good comedian. I just find his voice and face annoying. So like, he didn't rape you, lady. <laughs> like he didn't even sexually assault you. What's what's the name of that bitch that we basically skewered in that uh? <laughs> 
Somebody know that girl name. Did we ever know her name? Her actual name? Let's just call her Lil Timby. Lil Tim Tim. <laughs> Lil Tim Tim. <laughs> She's older, so she's not the sequel. She's the prequel. No, they're the same age. Oh, that's no. Actually, no. Actually, this dumb hoe is older. She's twenty-three. That girl's twenty-two. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I had a, I had sex with him. But I really didn't want to. I don't get it. I mean, I understand the statement. I don't understand what's the point I'm of you sorry, telling us that. She she saw the bag. Is that what she said? <laughs> she saw she saw the condoms. So you mean to tell me that you had sex with him for red eyes? That's worse than eight hundred dollars. Yeah. You're actually a dumb hoe. <laughs> yep. You knew what was happening. Whoa. Unless you really fucking like red vines, in which case, <laughs> yeah. And they outlawed them in her in her hometown. Yeah. They put loose red vines. Oh my gosh! I know I sent y'all this, but I might not have. But I'm almost positive I did. So the state of Texas is out here fucking up. <laughs> Been doing so. The state of Texas has, is, is making it illegal to teach students that they're teaching, it's, it's illegal to teach students that the KKK is morally reprehensible. Well, I mean, it's not just Texas because that would be considered a part of critical race theory and a lot of states yes. are outlawed teaching critical race theory yes that's yeah that's what that's what they're uh they're calling it it's part of the critical race theory thing yeah and the thing is is that critical race theory is so broad that pretty soon soon they're just going to be able to tell us anything I they can't. want under the banner i can't get them to that night what the hell It's it just sounds so like, you, you can't unfortunately I don't know, these dumbass little kids and their and their dumbass parents are just go for it, but anybody with half a brain will understand that freaking this country was brought up on, specifically on racism. That's how this country was made. This entire history is pure racism. His entire history. Entire yeah. history. So you can't block racism when that's literally the foundation of your entire country. But ah, okay, people eat that dumb shit up. Down on the deep head. All right. Uh, the, the problem, like... It's literally, how we, it's literally how we got here. It's like being in the WWE, but you can't talk about wrestling. <laughs> You can't talk. Can't about, well, I mean, can't, that, that, is, that is being in the WWE. Yeah. You can't, you can't talk it. about it's, other it's, wrestling. It's, yeah. it's, 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 no, it's not about specific, specific wrestling. You can't talk about wrestling. Anything. You can't talk about the next pay per view, the next house show. No, you can't talk about wrestling. <laughs> she was right. But you can talk about, you know. This is hell. I don't know. The camera crew. and How do we have. Uh, um, how you going to get from one state to the next? Talk about that shit all day. But, uh, Much better. You can't go over any key points and max. You can't talk about point, wrestling. You should see the main court. I am curious to see how this plays out. I am very curious to see how this plays out. I I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like it's like I'm pretty sure it's just gonna become law. What do you law. mean? Like states states are passing it. Like there's <laughs> it's just no no no. What, what I mean is it's it's kind of like saying like uh. It's kind of like a dress code, like at a school. Like if all the students are like, yeah, no. And the parents are like, yeah, no. What are you gonna, what, what are the administrators gonna do? Is everybody just gonna like, you know, not? They're just gonna like let everybody not go to school? Well, no, the problem is that it's the parents that are, that are, that are pushing. Okay. Cause I understood, like, cause I was listening to the, the, the Anna 
explain critical race theory. And she's like, yeah, it's, the, I, it's not just critical race theory. And that's the problem. Cause like, I like that people will call it critical race theory. It's not critical race theory. It's white people not, it's, it's white men are not wanting to be guilty. Because it's not yeah. just a, it's because it's not just a matter of race. It's, 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 it's also, it's also like, if you're born a man, you shouldn't like, or if you're a certain gender, you shouldn't like have to take on the responsibilities of your gender or like you shouldn't be held responsible for any misgivings of your or like people of your gender which is like it's exclusively that like that doesn't apply to women and you know that doesn't apply to women that only applies to men fucking up yeah exactly exactly so it just it just applies to men got here Oh. I mean, you can only hide your history for so long. And the history isn't hidden. Sad part. Like it's not. It's it's still available. Like the information is still there. It's just not being taught in school. Yeah. So what a do you? A lot, a lot easier than it, a lot easier than than it was when we were kids. Yeah. yeah, by all means. So what do you do in that scenario? Like what? What exactly is y'all's objective? Because. Parents. Well, the thing is, is that they don't want they don't want this whole critical race situation. They don't want um, the Black Lives Matter this type of thing to move into the schools. That's why they're bringing it up. That's because dumb. they don't want it to actually make it to modern day. They don't want to talk about the the police brutality and crap. So, like, that's, that's ultimately what all of this is about. Anything so, that has so, happened so in the last don't... year and a half, that's it. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's, in, that's incredibly so stupid. You don't, you don't want to talk about history, you want to not to be a subject in their school. Because, I, like, I don't it, see... I mean, it's like what you said, they don't want to feel guilty. So, let's just not teach the kid about it. Because right, so I can't no see... None whatsoever. That, that's gotta be. That's gotta be what it is. That's gotta be. Because there is no American history without slavery. Anything, <laughs> right? There is none. How long? Racism. How long? Let Let's re. Let's Let's like Let's clarify here. They are being taught that it's illegal to teach kids that the KKK is morally reprehensible. It does include slavery, but that's not the point. The point I'm making is they're effectively telling, like, they're not allowed to tell you that hating niggers is illegal. It's wrong. Not illegal, but just, like, like it's, you shouldn't do that. That's what it is, because that's what the KKK is. Like, it's literally, like, trying to justify racism. Like, not just toward black people, but toward Jews as well. Like, anybody who isn't like a you know an Aryan, you know it's that's the part I don't understand, and how anybody I mean the answer is racist white people racist white parents would totally be happy with this because I'm pretty sure like well I've got my white pure the driven snow daughter coming home asking me about slavery and I just think it's gross yeah. and disgusting. It's it's like why? Okay, right. then as I said. Well, you can't do that because you know no, America. I guarantee no. you, they're going to talk about all the wars. They're te they're teaching 9/11 in school now. Um, oh, we can hate Arabs all day at night. That's cool. Um, I mean, because like like I said, there's racism in all of it. Yeah. You can't teach none of it if that's how you want to be about. It. They, just they be oh just be like that. oh just be, so just be like happy. you know we ain't gonna talk about nothing they were they were fully in world history they no, were no. fully teaching a whole lesson on Jesus in world history I okay I mean to be fair he was real I suppose. 
<laughs> so I guess it makes sense that they would teach world hit. Okay, I'm not laughing at it, but that is kind of funny. DDS. Wait, Jordan, 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 remember the whole Jesus Johnson thing that yeah. happened at, 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 at work? Yeah, I, re- oh, yeah, I remember. That was, because, that was because in class that day, like, I was, I, me, I was teaching the kids about Jesus. <laughs> I, I wonder how many children genuinely don't know that Jesus' last name is Christ. Um, <laughs> I I met I messed those kids' world up that day because <laughs> she was like, "What was Jesus' last name?" And then she goes, "Oh, Christ, duh." <laughs> and I was like, "Well, you know." Uh, back in those days, they, their last names were usually just uh, their profession. And if Joseph was a carpenter, then if Jesus inherited his last name, then his last name was definitely Carpenter. You know, to be fair, how did Jesus get the how did Jesus get the last name Christ? Jesus H. Carpenter. Yeah. Great, great descendant of John Carpenter. Wow, you you botched that one. Okay, I just I just find it all very like fascinating that it's like yeah we we don't want the kids to think that being a clan member is negative. How do you say that out loud without like bust like without turning inside out? You know. Well, what if they have an uncle that's in the clan? We don't want them to hate their uncle. uh, America feels, and I said they feel, because it ain't entire, it's not 100% true, not even close. They feel they've done a good job of, 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 um, um, we're getting there. Sheltering people from their, you know, uh, their history. It's hit there from their history. They feel like they've done a good job with doing that. Yeah. And, they they felt like they've done a good job of making seem making it seem like America is the greatest place ever to live, even though it's just the best of a really 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 bad shitty situation. That's what it is. They've done a decent. They feel like they've done a really good job with the hiding that. <laughs> They actually, but, you know what? They kind of did because they got a bunch of other people from around the world leaving their shitty situations and trying to get here. Situation over yeah. here. So, yeah. From what I've heard, when it, I, because I've bumped into a few people who genuinely did want to come to America, like for opportunities, that was usually the reason they wanted to come here. It wasn't like the land of like acceptance and freedom, but they saw it as the land of opportunity, the place to come to actually be able to work. Now, that's where, like, the lack of understanding of how racist... Okay, so, to to clarify, I am not racist. But I don't really like Indians anymore. And it has a lot to do with scams. It's, it, has a lot, it has everything to do with oh scamming. Um, this lady called me today. I think she said her name was, like, Amy or Tina or something not what her name was. Um, and she was Indian. With a hard-ass accent. Yeah, yeah. And I knew she was from my uh, insurance company. She was from my insurance company. And she was calling me about my oxygen. And I understood that she was with my insurance company. But the entire time, I was mad at her for being on my phone. The whole fucking time. I was just like, I just want this bitch off my phone. Like, like I don't even feel like... I know you're with my insurance company. You're not even asking what? for anything. She was just doing her job. Yes, and that's the thing. That's why I hate the way I feel toward them. Because she's not doing anything. But a part of me, yeah, like, the entire time... <laughs> the, but the entire time I'm on the phone with her, it's in the back of my mind that this might be bullshit. She might be fucking lying. Because I cannot stress to you, like, watch... And it's mostly because it's like, it's like watching conspiracy theory videos. And yeah, now I'm a conspiracy theory. Videos. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of scam baiting videos. And when I tell you, them Indians over there in Bangladesh and Nairobi... And I mean Nigeria and I know that's not in India. Shut up. In Nigeria and shit, they scam. Is Bangladesh. They scam so fucking hard, and they like if they see that there's a slight opening for them to get your shit, 
they're gonna get your shit. And it like well they're not gonna get it, but they're gonna keep at it until they get it. And it's 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 that it's it's that thing that those people who were completely innocent and just are struggling where they live, they don't see how much a good chunk of us don't like them based on that. Like I didn't know how much the Asian hate rose when Donald Trump was like, you know, Kung flu and like the Chinese Zika virus or whatever he called it. Oh yeah. Like I saw videos of black people straight decking Asian people as they passed them on the street. I would have, yeah. I would have assumed some robbery shit, but I never would have thought that you were just hitting them because of the coronavirus. Like you're hitting Asian people because of the coronavirus, and your ass is black. (laughs) You know what? You know what? No. Hey, it's just that, hey, <laughs> bubble burst time. No, <laughs> no, that's not the reason why they win. I, I ain't justifying it by any means, but I know that ain't the reason why they. Yeah. It, 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 it's funny to see in some sort of black entertainment Asian people being so racist to black people, and we gotta, we understand that shit came from somewhere. Oh, it's yeah, very yeah. real. Yeah, like I can I get that. At the at the <laughs> no, at the time so that that was happening, black, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they were like, fully attacking black short. people. Yeah, long explanation <laughs> short, it's been a long time coming. I and, but, and that don't make no, it right. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not that it's been a long time coming. Chinese people were fully attacking black people at the same time in the streets of China. Videos were being posted online. Oh, okay. Chinese people were attacking black people. <laughs> and it's funny how, like, during like, the whole they week... They were just ganging up on black people and, like, just beating the crap out of them. And here's where it gets just muddy. in the streets. Here's where it gets muddy. We had this whole stop Asian hate thing in America where, we're, like, basically, like, we took the spotlight off of, like, you know, black people getting their asses beat by the cops and murdered and shit. And we was like, we gotta stop hating these Asian folks. At no point did they say, now, look here, over in China... Niggas is getting their ass beat. Mostly just because no, they black. Nope. And like, and I know it has to start somewhere. We didn't go over there and get, get our asses beat for nothing. And they wasn't getting hit in the face over here for nothing. It started somewhere. But neither side will accept that they started it. And it's probably not black folks no, who started white, it. Because white people started it. Yeah, most likely. Of course. <laughs> and it's just, the whole thing is so bizarre. I again, I'm a firm believer that the the right way for uh the world as a whole to go, everybody needs to be mean again. Everybody just needs to start being mean to each other again. Everybody needs to stop pretending to be nice. Everybody needs to stop. You know how, like, you know how we how we take all of the attention off of white people being white people by making everybody hate each other. Kind of, sort of, yeah. And I don't mean be mean like all the time for no reason whatsoever. I'm more along the lines of looking at like, um, like oh, uh, Hank Azaria, you shouldn't voice Apu because you're not Indian. And instead of Hank Azaria being like, you know what, you're right, I'm sorry, I will immediately stop. Hank should have been like, I don't fucking care. Like my shit ain't even a- yeah, racist. Nobody, nobody said anything about Hank Azaria voicing Apu. They talked about the stereotype. And it wasn't really a stereotype. About Hank Azaria. Yeah. <laughs> nobody said anything about Hank Azaria voicing Apu. Hank Azaria was the one who said something about Hank Azaria voicing Apu. <laughs> it was like that shit. Should... Right. And then, and, and I was like, I, I, of course it was. And like the whole thing was like, well, Cleveland's voice actor is white. I uh, check this out. And I thought about this. Like Kevin Michael Richardson. This is funny to me. Won't be funny to nobody else. Kevin Michael Richardson took over the role of Dr. Hibbert, who was vo- who is a black character on The Simpsons that was voiced by a white man. Kevin Michael Richardson voiced Shredder in TMNT, who was a Japanese man. <laughs> there will not be any mention of yep. that irony. Not to mention... Yep. In the in the live action movies, every time Shredder was on screen, outside of TMNT two, he was played by a Japanese man. The only reason he was played by uh, Big Sexy 
in uh, Secret of Ooze is because Japanese people don't get that big. But in <laughs> but in the cartoon version of the original cartoon, he was played by Uncle Phil, who was a black dude. And to be fair, I don't even know if he was Asian then. Like he might have been a white guy, but he might have been you know Japanese then. And in the 2012 Nickelodeon series, he was a Japanese man played by a black dude. I can almost guarantee y'all no, we could get. Unfortunately, that ain't what they're talking about, so don't nobody care. Yeah, that ain't important. It's not. They just want niggas to shut the fuck up and stop complaining. That's all they really want. And it's it's it's. Well, it's not that they want black people to stop complaining. They're tired of all the white the white guilt, the white self guilt. I don't understand how they consider they're doing, it. They're doing it all to appease their own. And I don't understand how they don't get. Because I understand that they don't understand why we consider certain things rude. Like, they don't. Like, they. You know, I'm I'm sorry to cut you off, but what he just said, they're tired of the white guilt. You know, the only reason as to why we still having these arguments. Because you're still fucking doing this shit. Exactly. And instead, and you're trying to pacify black people because you're too chicken shit turn to your white counterparts and tell them to stop. You're scared of yeah. them. You are. Yeah. And the same are, goes for women. Of and I mean the same goes for women. It's like the whole idea of like, well, we gotta like they were so quick to throw people like Harvey Weinstein under the bus because they well, knew for a fact. Nah. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just let me, just let me, let me get this I mean, out. You know. Yeah, I, I'm not saying it was wrong. But I feel like a lot of that shit, like the whole Me Too movement, had so many people scared they were trying to get rid of as many people as they could it's kind of like zombies are coming to the like like approaching the shed that we're all hiding in and you got like three or four people who are whimpering and scared and can't be quiet so you just throw them out and like you're just in there hiding hoping that they don't see you or that you don't get caught i'm on that train (laughs) because if you're if you're in there uh, ruining my chances of survival. Yeah, I gotta it's get rid of you. Yeah, I like, yeah. If you you know if you want to break the analogy apart, yeah. But I'm just saying, I feel like there's still a lot of if you want this part, play with my nuts going on in Hollywood. There has to be. Oh, for sure. Yeah. That should have been a stop. And because I and I feel like there's a lot of women out there yeah. who are like, I got I got pretty far, you know, find the lesson. Harvey bottles. Harvey Weinstein was the most high profile case of it. Yeah, yeah, so, totally, totally. Totally, totally. Yeah, so the people who came after him were like, oh, okay, well, if we get the big fish, then they'll shut know, up. Then <laughs> other no, there, it, there's a there's a there's a little self-interest in it. Because if it's like, oh, well if they know I'll speak now, then ain't nobody else going to try that on me later, but that's just well, you not everybody else. Here's the thing. When it comes to situations like that, when you catch somebody, you got to have it in the back of your mind that you caught who they wanted you to catch. Yeah. Because that shit, that shit, because that shit runs so Seriously. deep. There's no way you can assume that nobody, Seriously. nobody, it, it's, it's impossible, it's improbable to think no, no one ever expected to get caught. They expected at some point to get caught. Yeah. And they had to have oh, yeah. a pot. Uh, there's definitely thing. fall guys. There's definitely fall guys in place <laughs> just for that situation. That's what I think R. Kelly is. If I'm being completely honest, if I'm being completely no, honest, I, I think R. Kelly I, is a fall guy. That. And I don't yeah, mean I to say that. that. I don't I mean, mean to still, be mean when I say this. Shit, yeah, if you yeah. did it for whatever reason, yeah, you still dumb. But I just don't think R. Kelly is smart enough to do any of this and get away with it. That's the same reason I think OJ killed by, them people. By yeah. Like and I don't think OJ was smart enough to kill that woman and get away, like get away with it, and I don't think R. Kelly is smart enough to orchestrate like a sex cult and all this other stuff. No, like there's no fucking uh-huh. way that dude's dumb. And I'm again not saying that to be disrespectful or make fun of him, but dude doesn't have a, like a college education. He's I'm not very I'm smart. Mistaken. That nigga can't read. <laughs> nah, the, the way Nick Cannon I'm put so it. That nigga can't read. Like, the way Nick Cannon put it. R. Kelly was very much like, like on a, like a 19, 18 year old mental scale. Like he just didn't, he couldn't converse with adults. 
And uh, hello, we'll be back. Get out.